All right, what's up, drivetrain? Today we're out doing sprints with one of the best creations I've come up with to date, I think. And I refer to it as... It is Monday. It's um, Columbus Day or Indigenous Peoples Day or if you're on the other side of the world, well, we get the day off on... Uh, in the US. Anyway, so I'm taking an opportunity midday here. I'm coming out to this fantastic parking lot. I'm doing some sprints. I've got my gate start up here. So we're gonna be hitting some, uh, some stuff with the Fresh Park gate there. And more importantly, we're gonna start out with one of the best creations I've come up with to date. The Sprint Block 3000. I always feel like I gotta say it like the OxyClean guy. Don't just clean it, OxyClean it. Because this thing, is not just your average starting block right here. Oh no, this is comprised of high dollar two by fours, drywall screws, a two by six, a little piece of a one by six. That's not what we care about. Look at this. So just like the uh, the fancy sprint block that is uh, that's out that you know, moves backwards. You see all all the big name guys use it. Well, look at this thing. Boom! Pow! Boom! Now, this thing slides just like the fancy one. Now, I will say, based on current lumber prices, this might cost more than the $200 version that the big guys use, but this one was extra lumber at my house, so I got the Sprint Block 3000 right here. We're gonna be putting this thing to work, see how it works. It's actually just a, uh, a drawer glide that I had laying at the house too. I, I routed I routed out a little piece on that one, and so it just slides back and forth. Boom, boom, boom. Just like that. Let's see if it works. Well, I know it works. Let's see it in action. So you can load up like normal. You see it does have the, the motion where it goes back. And then if I actually do a start, you go head and shoulders forward. Works like butter. All right, I'm actually gonna use this to warm up now before I go do my gate starts, but we'll get some videos of this. Videos, that's fun. All right, as you can see, the addition of a drawer glide makes this far superior to your standard block of wood. It's not as quite as nice as the real sprint block, but for extra things laying around the house, I think it's pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with it, and I like the motion that I can get out of it. Having this extra wide piece of wood allows me to set it up on the starting hill at my track, and uh, you can see in these video clips here where it really uh, it, it, it doesn't move a whole bunch. Sometimes I gotta hold my brake, depending on which gate I'm in. Um, I thought about putting a little piece of rubber on the bottom or something to keep it from slipping and sliding. But anyway, check these clips out. All right, that's it for the Sprint Block 3000. Now we're gonna move on to this Fresh Park gate with the Yellow Cat and actually get some gates on this nice downhill section of parking lot here and get some practice because this is part of my going expert, the things I'm doing today. We've got state finals this Saturday for Virginia. We're super stoked to race out there in Northern Virginia, but I gotta put in the practice now, so let's get it, come on. All 
right, so this this angle, the gate itself is usually pretty steep, and being on this uh, this being by the interstate is really loud, but it doesn't bother anybody when I run the gate. Uh, anyway, being on this angled parking lot is pretty relevant to uh, to Nova BMX where we're going to be. Their starting hill is pretty steep. When you stand up there, you kind of feel like you're going to fall over, so it's pretty good. One of the things I'm working on is after reviewing my gates recently, I'm still smashing with my foot, which is making my front end come up. So my, my momentum kind of goes up before it goes forward. So I'm just trying to get my head and shoulders to go forward and then catch those next pedals. That's what I'm working on. Let's do it together. better I want the light to be further out I feel like I'm because I'm actually looking at the light now it just seems like it's a little too close uh, for me to look past and still see out of my peripheral vision so details maybe I'll make some longer cables modify my little yellow park yellow yellow park yellow cat it's a cat anyway let's keep going So apparently the other half of the parking lot is being used for driver's ed right now, or this person letting their, what seems like eight year old child, drive their car around the parking lot. At least there's a curb right down here in between us. Hopefully I'm safe. I'm gonna try this shot again because I really like how I can see what my head and shoulders are doing. I still pulled up some on that one, so I'm gonna just try and keep it going forward. Number 61, I know, I, I, I can't 